All right, guys, how's it going? So, Virgil van Dijk and Mo Salah, will they still be at Liverpool under a new manager? Some fans are asking that question. Some people in the media are asking it. There's no, like, you know, alarm or anything at the moment. And I don't think it's, like, strange to be asking those questions. You know, when a new manager comes in, senior players do want to, you know, consider as, you know, do they want to move on or extend, you know, extend their stay further or whatever. You know, what's the new manager's plans for, for me and all that kind of thing. Um, Virgil van Dijk didn't help himself, if you remember, back in January by saying, you know, he, he could move on. There was a lot of headlines saying he could move and then he... He pulled it back a bit, didn't he, a day or two later? I'm sure he did, you know. You know what my memory's like. Uh, Mo Salah's situation, will he or won't he leave this summer, you know, for Saudi Arabia? You know, we we don't know about that. And I think we're going to get subjected to that kind of stuff soon. We've seen one uh, article about that this week. Um, we I think we will see more, but from more... Um, I don't know about credible... But just the one that, you know, the one that we've seen already, just ridiculous. Do you know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't pay any attention to that. But we might see increased chatter. So maybe not from the credible um, people that we that we trust or whatnot. Um, but basically, there's, there's uncertainty around those two players, at least. Um, nothing alarming, though, at the moment. Uh, Liverpool might cash in on Salah, you know. Um, and I think some of you guys would understand that. I do. Um, you know, his contract situation and his age and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I think last summer I really did think Mo would leave. Like, like last summer I was like, oh, we all thought like, oh, you know, this might happen. Uh, but it didn't. And it's gone away and gone very quiet, which is strange. Which, you know, just makes you wonder sometimes, is there something we don't know that's gone on? Was there an agreement? You know, like, look, stay with us another year, then we won't stand in your way next summer if he wants to go, that kind of thing. So lots of, you know, ifs, buts, maybes, whatever. Um, no doubt I'll be here with you going through it all uh, in the summer or whatever. Anyway, the reason for making the video is that Fabrizio Romano, Mo Salah, him, uh, has commented on the situation. And this is what he had to say today. There's been speculation about what the manager change might mean for Liverpool players like Mohamed Salah, but I don't expect him to decide anything before the new manager comes in. I expect him to take some time. It's normal for players to take their time to look at what a club wants to do in terms of their project, their ideas. So for Salah and others like Virgil van Dijk, it's a normal process. They're waiting to understand what's next. And I don't think any of us would disagree with that. You would say it's common sense, really, wouldn't you? Uh, but he's not, he's, he's just talking about it. He's not like exclusive, you know, then giving you like, all oh, right, well, that wasn't really very uh, exclusive or very exciting. He's just giving his opinion on the situation. Um, but I do think we're going to see a little bit about more, uh, especially. Um, but we'll wait for that to happen. We'll wait for that to happen. And uh, I don't know why I repeated that. So I just wanted to tell you what uh, Fabrizio had to say, basically, because we pay attention to what Fabrizio has got to say and you may have missed it. All right, that's it. That's the only reason for the video is to tell you what he's said today. Uh, I'll leave it with you guys. Just a brief update, really. Uh, thanks. To Can you hear that bleeping? That's me chicken. It's me chicken ready in the uh, in the air for you. Perfect timing. Uh, yeah, those of you that came along to the live stream today, thank you very much. We'll do one tomorrow. Not sure what time tomorrow. We've got to think about the game and stuff like that. Um, but I'll let you know alright um, yeah thanks for watching guys if you appreciate the video please thumbs up the video uh, please drop me a comment and if you want to buy me a coffee or a beer or wherever whatever you want to, where, wherever whatever you want to call it just hit the super thanks but more importantly leave a comment and um, please do read the video description join my newsletter um, and uh, connect with me on social media not just on Cop Talk and Cop Talk TV but my own personal accounts you know, I, like, I like that man you know what I mean um my fa you know, you could be my Facebook friend, Dunk, D-U-N-K, O-L-D-H-A-N. Yeah, more than welcome. All right, guys, uh, a little bit tired now, you might be able to tell. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll speak to you later. Cheers.